Hey everybody, Juice here. You're a host of all the Battle Reports here at the Long War, where we always keep it icy. Big special shout out and thanks to all our Long War veterans. If you haven't already, stop what you're doing, get on your phone, go to longwar.net, become a veteran of the Long War today. Just like my boy Talon here is back in the, the Beats Laboratory, full on veteran, bringing some pain again today. Bring revenge back to Juice, bringing full armor, just to show him how, crushing him under the treasures of the Emperor. List for the 1850 here, we've got Pass, in the Battle Command Group from the Acadian, the Acadian Battle Group Detachment out of the Monti uh, Rulebook. We're going to be running Decurian style attachments here. So you got Pask, he'll be rolling a Dozer Blade, his buddy won't be rolling one. And all the tanks will be configured with last cans and multi melts. Over here we've got the Emperor's Fury Armor Comp or armor Detachment with the prerequisite engine, engine seer. You got tank commander here, and then those little symbol right in front. And his buddy, his buddy won't be rolling a dozer blade either. And then everyone else, same configuration dozer blades, multi melt as last cannons. And then we got the super heavy support element, hell hammer. Those, know who, the, those who uh, play guard will know what it is. Like massive blast, string 10, AP1, ignore cover. Now, this is an 1850 Company of the Great Wolf list that I can get behind. All right, veterans, so this is what we're going to be rocking. We've got Bjorn the Fell Handed chilling right up front um, with his sexy blue talons. Uh, he's got a Hellfrost cannon uh, with him today. Uh, he is actually going to be the only Dreadnought that is not riding in a drop pot. We also have standing behind him our seven Dreadnoughts, six of which are venerable uh, with uh, different configurations of weapons. All six of them have blizzard shields. Three have axes, three have assault cannons, and then we've got Murder Fang, uh, Cuban Shuffle Dancing, Mofo himself, alongside as the eighth elite choice in this attachment, we have a squad of Wolfen, an eight-man squad of Wolfen with a mix of weapons. All right, Talon, now that everybody has seen what exactly we're going to be playing today, let's talk about it. Let's talk about um, how we think it's going to play out. But first, let's talk about the mission. So we're going to be doing a 12-inch deployment with, with two primary goals. It's going to be Relic, that is movable, and Kill Points, which I think is actually going to be really tough for me to try to get. Because I'm rolling in low on Kill Points, and he's rolling heavy with all those drop pods. Absolutely. When you're talking about seven drop pods, kill points, you're always just like, yeah, you know, uh, but we'll see how it plays out. All right, Talon. So let's break it down. Um, I feel okay with the relic. I just yeah. want to tell you, I, I honestly, I feel like I'm going to be able to move those wolfing up. I feel like that's what their job. They're an expensive relic holder, but I feel like I'm going to be able to lock that down. What do you think? I think you might. I'm going to have to try to occupy it. I can't really move it. I only got one model, but yeah. he's probably not going to live. Like, it's just, my objective is just to blow you off the board. And, and and you can't just take a tank. It's not like it's progressive. You can't just set, set it there and think that the Wolfen wouldn't just go punch McPuncher 10 on it. You know what I mean? Like, truly, you have to rely on the firepower. Yes. You know, but that's something that you're used to doing. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. So... With this list, this is kind of, I've been playing you for years and everything. I'm so shocked to see one infantry model. That's, I hate, I had to bring it. <laughs> you had to. It, I mean, you didn't even want to. You no. know, you're like, damn it, I wanted to do this without a single guy. So, um, how do you think that's going to play out? I know in a lot of lists that you build, the Torxes with the Flamers, the, you know, Vendetta, little uh, Demolition Squad coming out, like that is something you've kind of been known for, you know, of pulling some tricks out, you know, or having units that dedicated to do something. Not having that, how do you think it's going to play out? I don't think so. I'm, I'm bringing the Super Heavy, so it's going to compensate for a lot of that, and it's going to definitely draw a lot of firepower and force you to make decisions on that while I maneuver the other tanks. True story, that Baneblade variant, the, the Hellhammer. Hellhammer, that dude is no joke. Uh, there's a reason why that big cannon is actually banned in some events, yep. you know, uh, but we don't play that, you know, it is what it is. Um, bring and, it all. Yeah, bring it all, and this is a fluffy, forging our own narrative part two, you know, um, that you and I are doing here, and this is the tail end of toughness values where with walkers yes now um we'll go in a little bit later but just as a little teaser i would like to get i'm going to pose you a question now and at the wrap up at the the end of this game i would like for you to answer it what would you like 
A, two-part question. How would you like to see vehicles with toughness values and saves and stuff? And B, um, what do you think the play that it would have in the game as kind of what we've done here with Walkers? And I loved how in the 1250 point, you had the Sentinels, you were feeling that own thing yourself. Like, I really, really like, just in my opinion, how it's changed Dreadnoughts. I just would want to get your opinion on what it's going to do for, for other things if we decide to do that here in the Beach Lab. What it would be great with vehicles is that they wouldn't die so fast in assaults. I mean, Absolutely. Well, look, don't give too much away. Oh. We want to make them to, to, to tune in at the yeah. end. So, uh, But, yes, we can kind of see where he's leaning, so we'll, we'll go into that. I want to touch on one other thing. Um, I don't know how the Army is going to deal with seven potential drop pods you know, over the course of, of oh, course of a couple turns. Drop pods are always my main. Yeah. So you don't have the ability to get interceptor, you know, psychic abilities for buffs. But you want to know what? I'm not dropping in with a bunch of firepower. No. Right? So it's like, I drop mean, if, if you're telling me all you got to do is play against drop pods and have three assault cannons, <laughs> I feel like hey, uh, in man, most AV, games. Hey, AV-14 is just going to suck it up for you right Absolutely, there. you know. Um, but so I'm really looking forward to see how this game plays out. Uh, the 1250 was so mm -hmm. clutch. I can't wait to show everybody on TV or on camera here what the Dreadnoughts do with armor value, or excuse me, getting rid of the armor value, going to a toughness. We saw what it did against um, infantry. Yes. Now, let's see what it pairs up against of nothing but uh, armor in itself. Mm -hmm. So, Talon, without further ado, let's start rolling some dice. All right, Talon, so this is the first rolls of the game. So, this is for deployment side. Oh, two and two. Let's try that again. I'll take yours. I'll take yours. Uh, oh, I got it. <laughs> Inked it out. Now that we know what side of the table we'll be playing on, let's go ahead and roll the good roll. <laughs> see who do, who uh, gets a chance to deploy first. Oh, that's I like see. Oh, that's wherever a six, there's usually one right behind it. I'm gonna opt to go first. <laughs> I I think that might be really best. <laughs> okay, so we have deployed up. Both forces are out here, um, and we've got no psychic abilities. Both Tal and I have brought two badasses to the table, so we've already got our warlord traits set. So, uh, Talon, I feel like at this stage of the game, you got to try to see if you can seize on me, homie. No, no, that is the opposite of what you're looking for, but Talon. Good luck, man. Let's good see luck. what happens. So this is top of one. Um, basically, the, the rundown for this turn is to bring four of my seven pods in. Um, I'm going to be picking up three of the assault cannon ones and one of the blizzard shield axe. I really want to try to see if I can snipe out first blood. If not, I am definitely going to be losing some guys, so try to get my points where I can. Okay, so we've got pod one of four coming in. The first three are going to be the Assault Cannon Blizzard Shield. Uh, I'm going to land right up in this general region. I'm basically trying to get first blood, maybe try to pick off this engine seer here. So that is going 10 inches back. Not necessarily what I wanted. Not getting close on that one. No, but um, 10 is going to put me right here. Just move it there and get my guy out. Set him somewhere in that region and measure him out. And for all intents and purposes, um, inertial guidance doesn't pull you from impassable terrain. So, or that's what it pulls you from, not just because it's a little awkward because of this piece. So basically, I need to move back another two. So all I did to make up for the difference um, is I only moved him four inches from the hull of the vehicle instead of six to kind yep. of make up the difference. You cool with that, Tal? Yeah, that works. Awesome. So here we go. We're going to put next guy up right in this crater. Looks like a good spot for him. Um, again, he's going to move back. Looks just outside of the crater is what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and move his difficult terrain three inches. Handy dandy measuring stick here. And dangerous terrain check for the pod. Good to go. And I've got two more. I'm going to line one more up. Hey, Talon, can you give me a pod, please? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. We're going to go right here. <laughs> Everything. No. Everyone. You guys are scared. I don't know what's going on here. They're like... We don't know. I mean, that rolling steel is what you're hearing. That's what it, I think that's what it is. OK. 
Okay, no terrain checks needed there. And last one with a uh, an axe. Can I see this? We're gonna come out and come chill way over here. Slowly try to get up this cut. That is a hit. So here we go. We're gonna move our full distance. Six inches from there. And as you can see, we're measuring six inches from the hole, not any of that jinkery that some people think <laughs> <laughs> coming from here. All right, so this is the shooting phase. We have got, when you get down to line of sight, these tanks actually block a whole lot of sh So um, I've only got one drop pod that is coming straight on here. We're gonna go ahead and shoot his storm bolter. Two hits, uh, strike four. That is two wounds, home slice. Oh, I'm going to ground. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to stay up for now. Here we go. Two, three up saves. Oh, pfft. it's yes. gone. First blood. It wouldn't have mattered if you went to ground, tucked yourself in, no. covered yourself up with pine straw with ones. So here we go. We are going to, um, I'll start here, assault cannon into this command unit. So I got four shots. Three hits. Three hits. Looking for sixes. Nothing. Uh, same thing for the next one. Oh, one. one six. So this is a pin because no. I, I get the D3. Yep. So now you got to roll on a um, three up. You get to do something. Three or four is a glance. Five, six a pin. Oh, very true. I'm sorry. Glance. There it is. So it was all point. And here. No. All right. One whole point down. Okay, veterans. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, I've got my duders up. I've um, got my three of in bones everywhere. My wolfen has went to this uh, tactic that you see me play all the time. This is called anti-blast template formation, as we've got here in this circle. They are going to be holding down the relic for me. Uh, for this entire game, hopefully. We've got Bjorn back here, not going to give up Warlord. I need to get as many points as I can to my side. So I'm actually kind of just chalking up Bjorn is out of the game because I don't want to give up Warlord and I'm gunning for his. Okay, what I want to try to do here is blast my way forward, clear out in front of me while protecting my flanks as I push forward and try to knock this Wolfen off that objective to claim for myself. Okay, I gotta start with the orders first with my tank command. And um, we are in the shooting phase, right? We are. We have pushed forward in the shooting phase. Everything pushed forward. Everything was good to go with no issues with mobilizing and tree. And I kind of move around so that way I can get plenty of shots on these dreadnoughts and drop pods. All right, we'll clear the way out. Let's let's feel the pain. Okay, we're gonna start with the tank commander over here. He's gonna split fire. Uh, he's shooting one dreadnought from him. His buddy's shooting the other one. There's nine. No, oh, that's a no go. Um, let's go, okay. let's go jump over the pass. He's going to shoot at the dreadnought in front of him. His buddy's going to shoot the drop pod. And then now as you're uh, rolling those dice, so because you didn't finish rolling there, mm -hmm. you have to do an order, follow out that order, and then move on. Yes. Since it was a failed order, that's why you moved on instead of finish shooting, right? Yes. Okay, cool. That's, again, just a little clarify for everybody at home. You have to issue orders now before any other shots are fired. Oh, familiar. absolutely. Okay. So pass did succeed? Yes, pass succeeded. I'm going to need some uh, dice a here. A bunch more dice. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, pass is punisher in action. I'll drink. I'm just kidding. Let's see, one, two. Two one misses. In, two, one in the center oh, there. Three Standard misses. protocol, pass only missing three times. Seems solid. And then now, as everybody knows, you've seen it twice. Um, this isn't this isn't a uh, dreadnought anymore with toughness value, or excuse me, has toughness value, not armor. So you are strength five with range. You are looking for those sixes. Yes, I am. But Pask is a badass, and all his special abilities, he gets to re-roll dice. So there's two already. A solid. I'm feeling three pick up here. Five. Make that five. What did I say? He was gonna pick up three. I feel like I called that. Glenn. So, um, five, three ups. Three up and vulnerable because of the blizzard shield from all facings. Um, so oh, I lost, I lost two wounds, but I'm venerable. So I have feel no pain. So looking for fives and sixes here. Oh, I'm also wound. Down three wounds. Okay, let's do the last can at him. Oh, right there. 
uh, mi uh, misses, and then let's throw two heavy bolters or multi melters. Multi -melters. Both hit. Now looking for threes because I'm tapping to seven. Uh, Reroll for pass. So two. All right. So one. two blizzard shields. Um, two three up saves doesn't matter. Yep. Two blizzard shields. Okay. Like a champ. Here we're gonna finish that pass his buddy blowing away that drop pod. Two multi meltas. Oh no, he's not preferred enough. And that last cannon. Now, nope. if I'm not mistaken, doesn't nope. that three hit because of your formation, or does no. that only, it's not for passing his guy, it's for everybody else? It's everybody else in the other formation within 12 inches of the tank commander. Gotcha, okay, I just wanted to... Uh, yeah, the, well, this I, is my HQ. But this is what we talk about here at the Long War in the Beats Lab, is if your buddy rolls a dice and you think it should be a hit, always call it out. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to measure out 12 inches to make sure, oh, yes, he's BS4, he's within 12 inches of the tank commander. So let's drop two multi melters on him to begin with. Uh, <clears throat> looks like we only got one hit there. I like how we're starting out. And no, I need a three. Needed a three. Woo! Okay, let's, so last cannon. So that last cannon at him. Oh, cock die. It's pulling right up in there. Yes, three he hits, hits on a three. Man, that is so sick. And no, he's surviving today. Let's do a blast, plasma blast at him. Let's see if this does some damage. So right dead center. Oh no, that's way off that the middle is, of nowhere. Uh, uh, yep. This guy just can't hit the broadside of a barn. Nope. Uh, again, a miss. And last one. Hey, um, also, can I see the... I've got a measuring stick here. You did roll a seven. I just want to make sure that it's uh, mathematics. We don't get called here. So, so three it inches. moved three inches. Yeah. Um, here we go. So over dead center. One, two, three. So again, it is impossible to get hit. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure somebody didn't fact check in. Um, no. I, I thought that. And then so the last one did nothing. So somehow I was able to go scotch free um, from from this vehicle. And now you do owe three gets hot. Is that yes. right? Okay. No, no, no uh, yes. Three gets hot. Uh, one does and I lose a hall point. And it only is on uh, one, two, or three, I think. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Wow. What a bad chain this of events on that side. Tank completely failed in every way possible. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bring the Hellhammer out. We're gonna drop a massive blast template right here in the right center. Right here, is that what you said? Right oh. here? That <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right there, ladies and gentlemen, off center, you're gonna be able to get both drop pods and three of my dreadnoughts. That's what I'm shooting for. Come on, dead hit, because that last round sucked. Dead there hit, that's is. what I'm talking about. All right, so you want to roll, I'll point and you roll? Yep. Okay. Anything but? Uh, Here. Uh, strength 10 ordinance, yep. It's a pin. It is open topped in your AP what? Uh, AP 1, so that's a so detonate. So it goes kaboom. Uh, I do have Wolfen in the bag. Roll me a distance. Let's see if you can clip how many guys you can clip. I got three. Three inches uh, from here. Remember, because he's up a little hot, uh, closer, so it's going to give you three wolfing. Uh, wow. Yep. Three wounds. Okay, the closest guy is a great axe. I'll roll these two at a time. Um, both good. <laughs> and take a wound with feel no pain. I right. felt it. He felt some pain. We're, I'll go ahead and remove this. And, okay. Who's next? Uh, the next dread, uh, dreadnought here. Okay. He is also wounded here. And lastly, that's a massive pen and, and plus three. Ooh, so it is five. Just weapon destroyed. So, um, so no more storm bolters. Let me. I owe you three up saves here. Yep. Good. Not takes a wound. Feel no pain. Takes a wound. You felt that pain. I mean, with a big ordnance shot like that, you think you would. Good to go. Oh, the blast, let's, uh, he also took a hit from the blast here, too. Oh, uh, you're right. Strength four. Nope. nope. Looking for sixes. Okay. And this guy, come to find out, he doesn't shoot just one weapon. He's no. got a bunch, right? He shoots everything. <laughs> let's say you drop Demolisher on the other drop pod. And that's a dead hit too. So one in one, that gives you the drop pod and a dreadnought. Okay, let's go ahead and drop pod. That that's is a, a pin. pin. AP what? AP two. Okay, so this is plus two. Nope. 
One whole point left. And then, um... Drain up. Takes a save. Save. Three up. And feel no pain. He felt it. Everybody is wounded. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put both last cannons into the closest dreadnought right there. Both uh, one hits. And take a three up invul save. Three up invul? There you go. Nope. Feel no pain. You Stuck it. I love making feel no pain saves. Now we're gonna move on to the tank commander over here. Oh, you got your two heavy bolters back here to the wall. Oh, that's right. Let's go ahead and throw both those at them. Six shots, twin length. Math. Backed up by more math. <laughs> and then threes. Threes. Let's go ahead and do four saves right there. All right, so we'll do close as close as that you can see. So this is a storm shield guy. I wish I could look out of these two at a time. Feel no pain. Felt one something. Left. One. Feel no pain. Four up. There we go. So he took a wound. Okay. Looks like I shot a lot in the mixed bag here. Didn't save my flank over here, but definitely demolished a lot in front of me. The hellhammer came through and really put hurting on everything. Yo, true story. That Joker was able to spread out wounds everywhere, which gave the rest of your firepower basically free reign to pick up stuff where you deem necessary. Yep. All right, so we've got my turn too. I feel good where I'm holding right now. Uh, Wolfen need to get the shit out of there because it is coming in hot with the firepower. Um, so now guys, I owe you, I've got three drop pods. I owe you two with storms or blizzard shield and ax and one for Grandmaster Flex himself. This is for Grandmaster Murderfang. He is in and the two blizzard axes. We have a full house. Everybody's ready to play. So first one up with the Axe and Blizzard shield is going to try to go here. <laughs> I don't think I've rolled a hit with that yet. Um, six inches, I feel like it's just going to slowly, I don't think it's going to leap anything. Um, no, so it's just going to make its way right here, be within an inch, and then stop. So we'll go ahead and deploy the Axe. Let him right up close there drop down some doors where I can because it looks cool and badass and next guy up we're gonna drop one here try to block this guy in from being able to move too much um he's gonna go down the line something's gonna happen here so we've got 11 total inches almost down the line I would stop here I can't fit can't fit can't fit so he just moves to directly in front of it and drops his hatchets or his side hatches and I've got I literally have got this guy blocked in exactly where I want um, lastly um, pimp master flex murder fang is gonna come in the cut way back here Ready for this, veterans? Haven't rolled a hit yet. You know I'm sticking it. Damn it. That is seven inches off the board. Um, let's see what happens to me. Don't roll a one. Okay, cool. A five, if I'm not mistaken, Talon, do I go back and I go in reserves? I, uh, yes. I feel like that's what it is. We're gonna do a quick uh, check and we'll get right back at it. On to the movement phase here. I was hoping that I could um, squeeze in, but my, my girth is just a little too mighty here. So I was gonna, I want everybody to know at home, my, my play was gonna be potentially come here and try to go ahead and get some hole points in there, but I'm not gonna be cute with it. I'm literally just gonna dance around to this side and take my, take. go ahead and try to take this guy out. Uh, just came in, uh, we're just gonna move through cover here with this guy and just ink forward. Again, same thing here, move through cover if I need to. Yep, so I get six total inches. I'm gonna come here, basically to an unfailable charge. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and move my Wolfen uh, to a tactical retreat, AKA moving back out of harm's way. All right, veterans, so we've got a few assaults it looks like. I am just gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on the eight total assault cannon shots. Uh, so we'll go to these four first. 
We're looking for those sixes. Nothing. Next shot. So next shots. Okay. Um, and it looks like we're gonna go straight into the assault phase. So we have an unfailable charge here. I am in terrain, so it looks like a snake eyes will stop me from going there. Didn't happen. And then again here, shooting, uh, going into the same unit, snake eyes will stop me. It didn't. So we will make contact. Oh, and because of the new rule in 40k with monstrous creatures and stuff like that, I've made base contact with Pask and this at the same time. So if I want to, I can split and attack off. Now, if this dude was a badass with an axe and whatnot, I might do that, but um, he isn't. But I just wanted to clear that out there. Remember, this is new 40k. You can do shit that you can't used to. So the first dreadnought up with this badass axe. So here we go. We have got five attacks because GW now says um, they come with base four. I am Mastercrafter because of that axe. Looking for threes. So four hits. I am strength 10, AP two. Rear armor 11, I'm looking for ones. Is a glance and three pins. Now, so he is gone, but let's see how gone he is. If it matters, um, I am AP two. So any sixes go kaboom, and it doesn't. I got the flank. So we can move right into here um, with these two dreadnoughts coming in hot on this HQ unit. So dreadnought number one, who's made base contact, is going to go here first That's to a guy who's already yeah to the commander himself. So I got five attacks, needing threes to hit. I got four hits. I no master crafted because I don't have a cool ass axe. Um, now I'm only strength six against a rear armor ten, so I need fours. Um, this is cocked. So I've got a glance and two pins. So um, I will go ahead and do the pins first. Yeah, go ahead and roll the pins. Okay, so one at a time. I am AP2, so on the roll of a six, it'll blow up. Oh. <laughs> it does blow up, so that is gone. How many total inches? So I'm going to get it. Five, so it get, you'll end up getting uh, three guys. You can roll one at a time, so roll the wound here. Need a six. Uh, nope. nope. Here. Next one over. Yes, you do wound, and then the last one here. All right, so you a three up save here. No. Ooh, feel no pain. Okay. All right, um, so that was the first penetrate blows this up. So now the second penetrate uh, jumps over here. Yep. Is that correct, Talon? All right. So again, a six and it goes kaboom. It doesn't, so it'll take two whole points. Okay. So now, because I did make base contact with two models, I am going to split my attacks. So because I do this, I think it's considered a disorderly charge. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go two and two. I'm going to go two attacks here and two attacks in the pass. So See if I can't snap. Who are going to start with first? Uh, we'll go here. Okay. All right, so we need threes. One hit. And I'm looking for a four. Nope. All right, so he stays alive. So now over to pass. I need threes. Oh, one. And I need a five to glance. Yes. Six to 11. pin. So I try to get cute with it. And I didn't do anything. But to be honest, I feel like with the dice that I rolled, it wouldn't have mattered. No. All the gusto came from that guy, so I can't complain too much. Um, and I feel like that's all I can do. So that was my turn, too. I can't, I guess, be any happier than how the Army's performed so far. Um, I know I'm going to have to take more firepower. You know, I'm going to have to live through the firepower that Talon's going to put down. But to be honest, guys, I'm feeling really comfortable uh, where the Dreadnoughts are at right now. Okay, I'm going to look like I'm going to try to do a little pivot here, rotate my center of gravity, and try to open up my flank over there while trying to preserve my Hellhammer hell as long as possible while trying to kill off all these Dreadnoughts. And with this... The fact that now they've got a toughness makes it much more difficult to actually put wounds on them and actually and try to knock them off the board. Okay, let's start off with the orders. Pass is going to try to split fire. He's going to shoot in the closest one, but he's going to shoot in the back. Okay, and it goes off. We're going to go ahead and throw his 20 dice at the closest model. Looking for threes, reroll ones. Uh, Missed with four or five that time. It's close to the average for him. Yeah. And He's such a beast. Looking for sixes here. With a reroll. Oh. Sucks. 
solid first go. Let's see if we can match that. Oh, yep, we matched we did. it dead on. Let's go ahead and roll six and bowl saves right there. Uh, six three ups. Oh yeah. Two, two feel no pains. Felt it. Down yeah, to one it, wound. Down to one wound left. Let's throw a last cannon at him. Misses. Let's throw two multi meltas. Both hit. Two ups. Oh, cocked. And uh, two, three ups for multi meltas. Oh, you're okay. telling me it comes down to this. Veterans, it's, it's, what's the over under for me sticking this? I'm going to call it a five. Psych, it's a six. It's a six. Ah, oh. <laughs> so he is nope, down. This guy. Oh, sorry. That's usually, usually Pass gets to look at what he wants to kill, and he kills it. Pass is going to go ahead, or Pass's buddy is going to go ahead and finish off the other Dreadnought. Well, I'll try. Come to find out his buddy isn't necessarily the same thing. Still not bad. 11 hits. And looking for sixes. Three, right there so far. No ones. Does this unit also get to, he doesn't oh, no, get doesn't. to re-roll, yeah. yeah. He would only get to re-roll ones there for preferred enemy, but there wasn't any. So, um, I owe you three up storm shield saves, and a five up feel no pain. No. Felt a little pain. He's down one. Okay, he's gonna take a last can to the face, gets yes, hit. He is. And takes a save. Three up. And then, um, looks like only one multi melter can get into play there. So, misses there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hop over the Hellhammer. Can you bring over that massive blast template? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, and we said before, you're gonna ride on top of this guy here? Yep, and that's gonna give me max. Two dreadnoughts and two drop, drop, pods. Uh, drop pods? Yep. Got some mass effects here. And that's a dead hit. Mmm, like it. Let's go ahead and start with the closest dreadnought. Go ahead and take a save on him. Yes, sir. I owe you a three up. Yep. Followed by a feel no pain. Whew. You felt Man, it. I've been going through some pains here. Let's go ahead and hop over the other dreadnought. And he felt it. Three up. Too easy. Okay, now let's go ahead and center with that dread, uh, drop pod right there. And pen. pen. Plus three. Oh, that's just a weapon destroyed. And then the last drop pod right back there. It's a pen on a six, and go ahead Plus and... three is six, it's just gone. Yeah. More terrain on the table. Yep. Just so everybody at home sees the difference, we'll go ahead and close this up for all intents and purposes. Remember, you can always shoot through drop pods, no matter if the, the walls are up or not. We'll just say those are up to show he's dead. Okay, I'm going to move on to Demolisher Cannon. It's going to go ahead and take a pop shot at the... Uh, right there, right center of that Dreadnought. Let's go ahead and... Oh, that's gonna hit glance. It's gonna hit both of them. Drop pod and the dreadnought. Yep, only moves two inches. Looks solid. Let's go ahead and move the drop dreadnought. No, he gets to survive that one and the dread uh, drop pod. It's a pen on a six. Plus one. Oh, uh, plus two. So that's a weapon destroyed on that one. And let's go ahead and move both last cannons right there on that dreadnought. Because let's go ahead and. Nope, neither of them hit. And the last one's going to be is both heavy bolters right here. Finishing off what they can. Where the, the last cannons can't, you know the heavy bolters can. That's oh, yeah. usually how it happens. Oh, cocked. Looking for fours twin linked. So we got four hits so far. Oh, oh, oh got, that's what I'm talking about. Need sixes. Go ahead and take two sixes. Oh, you're telling me there's a chance. There's a chance. Here we go. Three ups. Double ones. Double ones. Ah, oh, so no close. Pain. He felt it. Oh, limping on with one wound left. Is there any guns to no, bear? I'm done. Okay, it looks like I've definitely put some pain on him. Wiped out some more dreadnoughts. The toughness seven it's really gonna it makes it much tougher to really get rid of these dreadnoughts. But hopefully I can survive this next round and bring more pain. 
So basically, the goal for this turn is got to pick up that pain blade. I cannot keep surviving that strength 10 large blast. He's just slaughtering kill points. It's too easy for him. Um, but don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Pimp Master Flex Murder Fang is ready to go. It didn't work the first time, but I know it's going to work this time. We're going to try to drop it here. Um, let's roll a hit. Yes. So let's show, let, me, let me show everybody why I wanted to do that. Um, Murder Fang is not benefiting uh, any of the buffs really that we've got going on right now. He doesn't have Toughness 8, he doesn't have a Storm Shield, he doesn't have Feel No Pain. We need to get this guy, let's roll it, go ahead and roll it, uh, move through terrain check, uh, 5 inches. We need to get him behind line of sight blocking terrain as much as possible. Actually, I'll put his, his butt in that way. So everybody else, he stays away from pass, stays away from everything. We drop this guy and he pretty much can go scot-free. So we have moved our way to the shooting phase. Uh, this is going to be a quick phase. Actually, you want to know what? I am going to bust shots off anyway. I'm going to shoot that lone assault cannon, Jeez. Dreadnought that's left, into the last hole pointed um, command tank unit. So I've got four shots. Looking for a six. And now I need a four, five, or six, correct? Uh, yes. Oh, you got a glance. Do I get a cover save out of that? Lo looks like a five up cover save to me. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Oh, no, it's out. Was able to take him down. All right, so it is punchy McPuncher time or squat axe hammer time. So we've got two dreadnoughts looking for two charge synthesis. This first one. I saw one, yep. okay, a three, the other one. I was like, it could be another one. And then the last one. Oh, double ones. Snake eyes, give me two inches and tell me. We've got our handy dandy uh, six inch tag. Oh yeah, you're well within two inches. Okay, cool. It always gets dicey when you're like, oh shit, did I just fail that? <laughs> okay, veterans, so I decided this wolf and unit was basically gonna tuck and hide keep that relic for me, but they got this tank is getting a little too danger close. So I busted them out. Now, I have to roll a charge distance. If everybody knows at home, the relic says if, if a unit moves more than six inches in a turn, mm -hmm. um, that's not good and the, di the the relic is dropped. So let's see how far I move. Six, perfect. So the, the dicey situation was, is if I would roll a 12 there, I would physically have to measure each person and move them the farthest distance possible to make base contact, hence dropping the relic. But because I rolled a six or less, I don't even have to broach that, sub breach that subject because of the fact um, I physically can't move that distance. So that's still good. I still have the relic and I get to move my inches in. Okay, so it is wolfing up. Everybody's in base contact doing their thing. We're going to go ahead and do these claws up first, okay? So um, we have three attacks base plus one for charging plus dual close combat weapon. The threes. Yeah, I've got two individual wounds i got to move over. Thanks, Talon. Yeah. Um, so I'm at plus one strength. So this is strength six. Real armor of this mofo is what? Real armor is 10 on that one. 10? Okay, so I'm looking for fours. Um, so uh, that is four penetrating hits. Now, uh, this is no AP attached to it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, I lied. If I'm... No, no, no. I take it back. I apologize, everybody. They are AP two. So this does go kaboom. Two How kaboom. many inches? Two inches. So it looks like you're going to get five total guys. Okay, let me go ahead and throw five dice here. I need four is the wound. And it looks like I got five dice. dice right there. So three. Okay, so I owe you, I got two frost weapon guys or two claws up first, so four up saves, followed by five up feel no pains. Wow. Lost one. Lost one and one took a wound. So we've got double, double hail frost. Power Axe of Dooms coming on the Hellhammer. So, <laughs> yep, coming in. So first guy, instead of just rolling all 10 dice, I do need to do these separate because I'm Master Crafted. So this guy, uh, I did miss with one, Master Crafted. That is five total hits. And the next guy. Ooh, that is 10 total hits, Talon. So rear armor is 12? Yep. Okay. So... 
That is eight old points off tops. Oh. Any sixes? No sixes. Oh, he's down to one hall point. But now, this is just, um, that was, these are nothing, and these are pins. I, or excuse me. These are two glances, so I have two nothings, two glances, mm -hmm. and six pins. Yep. So if one of these, now I am AP2, so one six, and I can blow it up. There is my six. So it does go, 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 go. No, roll. It's a D3. Oh, D3. So yep. uh, if it's a one, it stays one where it is. One or one two. One or two. Oh, it's gone. Okay. So and let's now see what kind of explosion. catastrophic explosion. Now I roll a D6 and see yep. what table we're on. Roll a six. I always like it. Yes. I like when something goes kaboom and it really goes kaboom. So we've got our template all lined up here. We've got our 10 inch template with a long word representing the big D, as you know we do. Talon, give us a scatter, homie. We got a Ooh, scatter. Ooh, got a favorable inches. scatter. So I'm gonna stay here and you give me 10 inches. 10 good long inches away <laughs> from here. Uh, let's go ahead and go like that. Okay. Right there. So it looks like you guys at home and Talon, can you see, is that dreadnought over the D, this, this one yep. here? Yep, I'm hitting that one in both drop pods. Okay, so we've got, is the black part over for this dreadnought? No, it is just millimeters out. Okay, so we've got no D here, but he is going to take strength 8, or excuse me, strength 10, AP3. AP and then, um, I think it is 3, we'll check it, but this drop pod is going to take the D. Okay, we're going to start from center out. Let's go ahead and start with this drop pod here. It's the only one being hit with the D. And oh, that, <laughs> that is gone. That is picked up from play. Got it. Let's go ahead and move over to the Dreadnought. It's only a Strength 10 AP3 hit. And that's going to take a save. Okay, so I need a 3-up Storm Shield, and I do. Or Blizzard and, Shield. And then let's start with the last drop pod over there. That's going to take a Strength 10 hit also. Oh, and that's going to be... Nothing. Nothing. And that is the bottom of my turn three, uh, about to go into talents. Um, again, I feel solid. I was able to pick up uh, two more units that turn. Uh, that's about all I can kind of average. Excuse me, three, uh, which is one more than what I've been averaging. But you want to know what? Um, knocking down that Bane Blade uh, variant is huge. Um, so we'll see how uh, talent answers. Hey, Juice has got me on the uh, wire here. I've done three tanks. I'm gonna try to start cleaning house a little bit. He took out my hell hammer, which I was hoping to really bring some destruction down, but let's see what I've got. Okay, I'm gonna try to move over here to get some better line of sight with that ignore template AP4 blast. Ooh. And then let's try to- Couldn't, couldn't uh, consolidate after that there. Let's go ahead and open up some fields of fire. Get some separation. Oh yeah, I'm desperately gonna need that. The really just try to bring some pain. Okay, on to the shooting phase. We're gonna go ahead and dump past the squad. We're gonna, oh, well, we're gonna start with the eradicator first since they're nice and clumped up and then dump past the squad into there. Go ahead and- uh, What size template do you need, homie? I need a large blast. Yes, sir. I got one right here. Go oh, ahead and center it right there on you. Oh, that's uh, off in the middle of nowhere. Good nothing. So let's throw two multi melts at them. Uh, one hit. And go ahead and uh, the closest guy's vaped. Um, he is vaped. And then let's throw a last cannon at him, which is going to be, looks like that storm shield's next. Oh, I'm going to miss. Now let's go ahead and start with passes, guys. We're going to start with his buddy first with his multi meltas. Oh, both hits. That's what you like to see. And go ahead and. So make... I've, got a, I've got a storm shield up, so it's looking like uh, he's going to need to take this on the chin, and he does. Let's throw a last cannon at him. Oh, nope. Now let's go ahead and dump 20 shots into him. You want to go ahead and pass me some more? Uh, yes, guns. sir. Okay, let's go ahead and get these 20 shots dumped in the squad. Try to thin them out a little bit. Oh, wow, that's a lot of twos. That's not what I want to see. At least that wasn't Pask. Oh, not yet. Pask can't interact with twos. That was my one. Oh, that's your one? Yeah, just showing. He's got one wound. All right, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And last one. Let's throw these out also. Okay, and I need three. three. Reroll ones. So go ahead and make all those saves. Okay. Um, 
Get that three of pinball first. Yep, three of one at a time. Oh, feel no pain. He felt it. And you got three guys before the next storm shield. Or the next two storm shields. Okay. Four ups. Followed by feel no pains. Take a wound. And pass. Let's go ahead and charge this two multi meltas. Oh, one hit. Take a feel no pain. Uh, no, that's instant death. Oh, yeah. Can't do anything about it. Go ahead and last cannon. Oh, for an enemy. Oh, hits. And let's go ahead and for an enemy on that one. And go ahead and remove another one. Two guys total down from play. Had a little Thunder Blitz action going on there. And then now the Gatling. Same pain. Oh, cocked. Cocked right there. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and bring this in. How do I get those two out of here for you? Okay, let's get all these ones. One more two. And I'll clear this so you got a good place to roll. There Ooh, solid pickup. Nice. Come on, sixes. Wow. So, what would you like for me to take first? Go ahead and take those so it gets rid of the last guy and then take normal. Well, I do have, uh, just so you know, up front oh, you, is going to be. You bumped him forward. Because it was this guy. He okay. Was, yeah, so he will take the two invul saves first. All right, so he is two, two feel no pains. pains. Takes a wound. Okay. And then the rest are all armor saves. Okay, so I'll do these one at a time because they'll have a three up feel no pain. or So feel no pain on this. Good. Four up. Four up. Feel no pain. Four up. It's going to boss this. Watch it. Oh, I didn't yeah. need to re-roll that. No. That was a five. Okay. Yeah. Feel no pain. No. Dude, he bossed the yeah, shit out of those. That's I have two left. Uh, two three math. ups. Okay. And uh, go ahead and take a leadership check over yes, there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, leadership eight. Definitely. Good to go. Okay, try to bring the pain on the wolf in, but they managed to survive over here. It's going to be a tough fight headed for me. So, sometimes veterans, you've seen dice just go one way or the other. I've been on both sides of it. The wolf in just didn't want to let it go. Um, I think this is twice now on camera. I've just had wolf in do, do exactly what you just saw. But So... Um, I know what Pask and his buddy can do in any given role, so I have to make sure I keep the pressure up and uh, finish, try to finish out this turn four pretty strong. Okay, so we're at the shooting phase. Murder Fang decided to epically not move anything. He rolled a bunch of ones, so he's just able to get past this wall. I'm going to go ahead and run um, Duders here just to kind of make up some distance. The next one. Oh, yeah. They're on fire. They I mean, want they're, they're literally wanting as much as possible. Um, Talon, I'm also going to blast you up with this assault cannon of doom. And it does look like I'm going to get your side armor. Yep. Um, <laughs> but clearly not enough. But clearly not enough. He's using all his three ups to make saves instead of uh, roll, roll to hits. Yeah, six. Looking for a six? No. Um, okay, guys. So I've got, I've got, a, I've also retreated the um, wolfen, surviving wolfen behind the terrain with the relic, so they're out of line of sight. So I, I want to talk this through with you guys. So I'm at a six-inch charge here, but because of the minus two, um, I'm at an eight-inch charge. Murder Fang is already exposed. Do I roll for an eight-inch charge, or do I just suck it up? roll a run roll to make sure that even when he moves six inches away next turn, that he has to kill Murder Fang or you get charged. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, so I wanna take two seconds to think about it and get right back to you. Okay, only took just a few seconds. I felt in my gut what I wanna do. I'm just gonna suck it up, roll a run of four inches. 
be a big dick swinger right out in the open. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just for all funness, let's see if I would have made the charge. Seven. I would have failed it. That's why you make a call like that sometimes. If you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. So that was my turn four, a little uh, anticlimactic, but you know what? I was able to hide the wolfen, reclaim the relic, uh, and move in for a crippling turn five if uh, Talon has a, a fatal, not so good turn like he's had before. Okay, I'm gonna try to swing around more, bring him into my arcs of fire and try to blow away a few more dreadnoughts while I'm trying to move on that relic. Okay, I'm gonna move through some train here. Yep, that desert blade's working fine. And passes buttons are gonna move around. Let's try to get a little let's try to blow some stuff away here. There we go. Okay. Pass is going to try to split fire. He's going to blow away Murder Fang in front while his buddy's going to try to pick off that last wound guy in the back. Let's see if I can get that order off. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and throw two multi meltas at Murder Fang. Both hit. Oh, and looks like only one wound. Oh, no, two, because he's what, toughness seven? Toughness seven. Yes, so two wounds. That was a two there. No, you needed threes to wound me. That was a lot. Oh, yeah, right? that's right. So yep. one wound. So uh, can't do anything about. So last cannon. Uh, it's a one, so let's throw in preferred enemy. enemy. Oh no, it's just not preferred enough. Let's go ahead and throw the big gun at it. I feel like you can get three sixes here. Let's go ahead and grab all these ones and pull twos out. Oh, that's a funny ones there. You don't mind those. <laughs> all right, looking for some sixes, homie. I need three more. Make my day. Oh, let's see if that's uh, let's see if that's cocked there. Oh, that is. Oh, the dice never that's, lie. That I want to go further. That's yep. enough. Ugh. And then pass his buddy's gonna go ahead and try to pick off that last guy back there. Let's go ahead with the last cannon. That misses. Both multi meltas. Oh. Let's see if they're preferred enough. Not wow. Not preferred enough. Let's put, retire those dice. Four, four ones. Throw twenty dice right here. Good pickup. Nice. And let's see if I can throw enough wounds at you to make you fail. Six is two. And then one reroll because of the one. Yep. There we go. Two, three, that's like a boss. Oh, yes. And let's go ahead and. Last guy's gonna go ahead, drop a. We're gonna shoot the guy in the back. And we're gonna throw a last cannon at him first. Nope, misses. Two multi meltas. One hits. Oops, sorry. And then one save. Yep. And then I'm gonna drop that blast template right here to hit both of them. Come on, dead. That's gonna be two inches over. I gotcha. Oh, you got it? Yep. So it's just gonna be here and the drop pod. So I need a six for the back guy. Oh, is it toughness seven? Toughness seven. So I need a five since it's a shrink six. Nope, and I need a six to glance to the drop pod back there. Nope. Drop down Murder Fang. That was a good thing. Yes. Looks like, again, managed to wipe out Murder Fang, but his guys are still coming for me. Let's see if I can maneuver and try to wipe out a few more next turn. So we've got, we're at turn five. Um, Relic still holding strong. It's literally how far can I move and run to hopefully touch for a long distance charge or run going into turn six. So we're gonna run back first. One, and then the next guy. <laughs> wow, Man, I got my ones out of the way. They're exhausted. They are, they're like, I've moved too far. This is a uncontested, looks like a seven. A seven I might try right now, an eight I might run. I think that is a confirmed, that is a seven inch charge. I'm gonna go for it. So I'm gonna shoot my shots. 
Um, assault Cannon of Doom. Come on, baby. Six right there. Okay. See if we can see a couple more long wars. One more. Okay. Come on. Nope. Uh, six and six is 12. That is a glance. Plus the D3. Yes. All right. So that's one glance down. And an epic charge distance. Here we go. Stick a seven. Come on, double ones. Yes. Take an eight. Punchy McPuncherton. Only strength six. Five attacks. Oh, all hit. Now, what is the rear armor back on this guy? Eleven. Eleven. So you need five. Fives to do anything. One pin. I am AP2. A six goes kaboom. Ugh. Okay, he is shaken. Is that right? Yep. I rolled up. So a two goes to a three. Another whole point down and shaken. Talon, I love it. What a throwback dice right there from like fourth, fourth or fifth edition. Um, I love it. That is actually the shaken dice. Fourth edition. Fourth edition, yeah. That is shaken and it shows two whole points remain in clutch. I love it. All right, so, excuse me. Um, that was when we used to roll, isn't that correct? Let's, throw, yeah. let's go back. Wow, everybody, this used to be what would happen. On the roll of one, nothing happened. On the roll of a six, it blew up. You know, immobilized threes was shaken. So this is what the result that you would see. Wow, keeping it classy, Talon, I like it. Um, either way, guys, that was my turn five. Um, what a long charge, I was happy I made that. Um, just gotta hold it down for another turn, maybe two? Maybe. Okay, let's see if I can try to actually get rid of that one dread knob while trying to get in there on that relic and survive just at least one more turn. Let's see that dozer blade still functioning. Oh, oh, move the eradicator right here. Oh yes, it's still working. Let's see if past his buddy's gonna move. Yep. And past is gonna try to get out of there. He's good to go. I'm not going to issue any orders here. Passes and his buddy are going to try to wipe out that one last Dreadnought right there. And I've moved over the Eradicator over there just to make sure I'm contesting. Just in case it ends at the bottom of five. And if not, he's going to have to deal with it. Some way or another, exposing himself. Let's go ahead and pop that uh, pass. is going to dump in. He's snapshotting. Six is reroll ones. Ugh, no six. One six. Two. Two, okay. And one, one, wow. Nope, so, and then let's see, come on, sixes. One six and one, uh, nope, one six, that's and it. And Pash gets to re-roll that, that three. Yep, nope, still nothing. Three up, sticking it. <laughs> <laughs> Landed it! Stuck it. <laughs> let's go ahead and throw those multi melt snap firing. Nope, and last cannon. That last cannon missed wide. Now his buddy's gonna go ahead and throw Throw everything at him. Oh, no threes. No, I see one three right there. That's wow. wow. That's really good. Really good hit. His buddy's making up for him. Yep. He's like, I got you, boss. I've been watching you shoot for a while. 14 hits. Let's roll this out. Two right there. And one. One. One, one. Oh, so I'm go ahead and make two, uh, two more saves. Two three ups. Oh, I got balls. Uh, two multi meltas for an enemy. Yep, both hit. Go ahead and let's see. make one save. One save. One three up. No. Oh, feel see, no pain. See, feels it. Oh, I felt oh, it. Finally. No. Finally. Coming down to the last gun. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the drop pot out of the way, just open up some fire layer and get a quick kill point. So two multi meltas, one hits, well within double pen. Oh, that is a definite pen there, plus three. That thing's gone. Gone. And let's see, uh, am I, can I hit, hit you guys back there with six? Uh, roll a six, you might be close. Uh, oh, I got a six on you there. got your six, let's see. 
how far you are away. Tell me when I am I. Uh, right there. Yeah, you get one. Oh, sweet. And nope. All right, so let's also go on this other side. Did you get a dreadnought? Uh, yes, I do get one dreadnought back here. Okay. And I need a six there. Nope. Removed from play. Well, Talon, I guess we need to see if this is turn five. If it's turn, if, if this ends right here, I feel like you're going to run away with this potentially. If not, it's not going to be looking good for you. So you do the honor, sir. Let us know what's going to happen. What's well, hoping this ends? Oh, it yes. goes on. One yes, more it goes another turn. Okay, guys, so uh, my turn six. I can't hold these guys back any farther, any longer. So we have the Wolfen coming in hot. Oh, yeah, they're about to nuke this. And I'm going to move some Dreadnoughts. All right, so before we move... Let me go ahead and put that right there for you. Uh, it's 14 and a half, so that is 15 inches. That is a nine-inch charge. Wow. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing here. Right that there. is that is a 10 inch charge Ooh. wow so a nine and a ten so we're just going to go ahead and move them up that guy's a nine he is a ten well we all know we don't need to mark it i am actually going to do one more thing i haven't wanted to pull bjorn out but i think i am so i can pop the rear with that hell frost cannon yeah, it sounded good until I got back here to move him, and then I was like, wait a second, I'm going to give one strength eight shot on the side, like, eh. I've already pulled the trigger on not giving up Warlord this game. He's staying back here nice and safe. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and make these charge distances. I need to know if you guys real quick think I'm going to make it or not. So. Nope. Oh, <laughs> the camera says no. I'm here we go. No. I'm going to stick both of them. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sticking them both. Which one first? Pick the 10-inch charge. Oh, 10-inch? Yes. Let's go here. This here guy. it is. 10-inch charge. Oh, oh, oh. Cog dice. Cog dice. Oh, dang it. Okay, so failed one. Now it's up for the 9-inch charge. Come on. It's not in the dice. Oh, anticlimactic. But at least I put myself out there. Wolfen, don't let me down. Infailable charge. No, they could do double ones there in train. Oh, true story. No snake eyes. Oh, yeah, they got I it. I got a five. Okay. So here we are there. Um, those are two thunder hammers. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah. So here we go. Eight Robert. attacks. <laughs> that's flat. Strength 10. That's some pins. That's a bunch of pins. And it goes kaboom. How many inches? Five. You get two of me. Oh, nah. Nope. Oh, yes. Let me turn and face. Nom, nom, nom. This is what I get for shaving 10 points off somewhere. I know. Sometimes you got to. Okay, so um, that was the end of my turn six. I was able to bang down either way. So we were just like, let's roll right into Talon's turn six. Um, we started looking at the board real quick. And it comes down to, um, he's well within the distance here. He just needs to move Pask and his unit within six inches here. Then we remembered, this guy doesn't have a dozer blade. So we're like, don't touch anything. We have to see this on camera. Okay, so Talon, this is the most important dangerous terrain roll, I think, of this guardsman and this guardsman's life in tank in a while. Here it is, no one. It oh! is all mine. It is a one. That's how it rolls for me. This is how it's been the game. Are you kidding me? We can't make this shit up. So let's uh, now see. Is it possible? So this is a separate unit oh. now. We've got some play. Yes. Right? Let's see if Pass can roll over there. And Pass can still issue his oh, oh my gosh. He's got dozer blades. He's got dozer blades. Three ones in a row. Oh. Uh, so Pass does have the ability to fly Issue out, orders. Fight himself out. Oh man, we're having Talon is having to come in hot, pulling out every trick that he can. I love it. So let's roll right into the shooting phase. Pass is gonna issue himself to uh, flat out here. See if it goes off. It does. He's got 66 movement. He's got eight inches all together. Go ahead and hear me. Oh yeah, it. plenty. You get total of eight inches. Yes. Yes, you can be all up in it. All up wow. in it. Wow. 
You know, I, I want you to know, I always tell people how, how a, much of a G pass is. He'll do whatever you need him to do. He just proved it right there. Okay, let's see if his buddy, who's immobilized now, stuck there, is um can knock him off and I can pull this win out of the bag here. So he's gonna go ahead and throw his 20 shots first at him. And now there's separate units. He doesn't get preferred enemy anymore. Nope. So just four. Oh, that's a lot. Look at those sixes. Everywhere. Man, I, wish, I wish that was old school rending. Solid even, roll right dude, there. I don't even... That is like right... That is above math. That's way above math. He's really wanting to bring pain. I gotta make up for that one. So... Let's see. Two, four, five. Five saves. Go ahead and make them. Five saves. Five guys. So Whoa. five three ups. Three feel no pains. One guy felt it. One guy is down. And the whole, this melty melter, the last shot for me. Let's see if I can hit it. Ah. Oh. There's it. Don't roll a one, Talon. I need a two. Don't roll a one. Ah. Oh. Ooh, here it is. Um. One. So. On one. Here we go. Ah. Oh. So I, I want you to know, everybody at home, I rolled the dice in a manner in which I couldn't see. So you know what? Some people will run around the table everything else. I just don't move, and I immediately look to my opponent's <laughs> face. And I'm like, he's going to let me know what that dice roll is very soon. And Talon gave it away. I must have stuck it. Okay, Talon, we're in the same situation. I am now wanting another turn. You want it to end. We're in uh, same thing, but my turn to roll the dice. Four up, it goes on. It does. Oh, turn no. seven. Boom. That guy is immobilized. I really don't care. Um, oh, the pass is being wiped out by the one guy anyway. So, so where are we at there? That is fourteen. Would you? Is that is that where we're at, Talon? Uh that is. Yes, it is fourteen inches. So that is an eight-inch charge. Let me pull you right there. And that, that is, is a, a nine. Let's go over here to this guy. Get that piece of terrain out of here. So You're 12. So that is an eight inch charge. Yeah. I like eight. Okay. So we've got an eight inch charge here. And again, an eight inch charge here to this way. I am also, Bjorn is coming out. So dangerous or difficult, excuse me. He's coming out now. He's gonna see about shooting Pask in the rear. Difficult terrain here. This table right here. This uh, is the <laughs> This Bourne steps out and just wipes it out. Oh man, an opportunist at its finest. Okay, so, wow. Um, nope, we're gonna actually come to here to pick up the relic and then go in. Okay, so here we go. Let's do, do our shot back here. Looking for a two. Hit, strength eight, rear armor. 11. 11. Looking for a four. Six, is it? Oh, uh, this is a town. pin. This is a pin at plus one, because it is AP two. Three, oh. just a nothing gone. Yeah, he's, wow. he's down. Downtown. Effectively, he would have come straight in. So let's just go ahead and move him his six inches and see what the charge distance now is to this guy. Um, so we'll go right into the assault phase. Um, this still is an eight inch charge. Nope. Nope. Go ahead and move him. I've moved him straight forward oh, okay. as if. So it's still an eight inch charge. Yeah. I'm just over the seven. Um, so an eight inch here. Oh, right on eight. the nose. Oh, no, wait a second. That wait a second, I apologize. I almost cheated there. I'm at, I'm at over seven right there but yeah. I didn't count for moving through terrain, so that was That's actually true. a 10-inch charge. Uh, that is a fail. Um, so there we go. It is, um, that is my seven. That's all I could do. Well, now that we're here, I have to try it. I apologize. Here we go. You're gonna drop the relic. Oh, good point. <laughs> oh, no. Do you want to? No, come but on, it, I, guess it doesn't, it. I guess it doesn't matter at this point because if you sit there and blow me off, it's like I don't have the relic either way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Let's I got to stay here and make some three up saves on me. Okay, this is my movement phase. Let's see what I've got. Uh, I've got nothing. Good nothing. 
Um, so I'm mobilized. Let's go ahead and move right into shooting. I got a multi melt to his face. Let's see if I can one off him right there. Oh, nope, nothing. Let's go ahead and dump 20. Gotta do it with the 20 shots. Here we go. Oh, let's see if he can boss it like he did last time. That's still a good roll. Yeah. Looks like here. Yeah, slightly above average. Yeah, that is slightly above average. It's actually how I almost rolled last time. Quite a few above average, actually. I need, uh, Seven, three above. Three ups. Ooh. Whoa. Go ahead and make all those saves. Veterans. Veterans, watch this. Not worried am I at all. I'm going to have to make one feel no pain. I thought you guys make a lot more. Three feel no pain. Four. Four feel no pains. Ah! Cakewalk. Let's do it. Five ups. Oh, no! Out of, the, Out of the depths! Is there a turn eight? No! <laughs> yes! Uh, okay, guys. Talon, that is it. We gotta cut it here. The game is over. Um, if you haven't already, stop what you're doing. Go to longwar.net. Become a veteran of the Long War today and hear Talon and I's exclusive content um, on the hobby breakdown, the 40k breakdown, the full-on mantra of how fun this game was. Thanks, everybody. If you like these battle reports, check out the longwar.net. Become a member of the Hall of Veterans today for the fastest growing library of war game related video contents, modeling, painting, and playing, not to mention all the sick discounts we receive from some of our sponsors. TheLongWord.net is committed to bringing hobby back, and we can't do it without you.